Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Russell and I do guide and race videos for iRacing here on YouTube. We are back with another IMSA track guide. It is week three. We are at the brand new Long Beach. Uh, many said this track would never properly make it to the service, but here we are. All it took was a global pandemic to make it happen. Um, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with this track. I haven't had any time. It's Christmas. I've had no time to do the guide. I've done my absolute best uh, effectively phoning this one in. Um, but I'm happy with the setup. There is a ghost car there. If you're new to the track um, and you're trying to work your way up to some races here this week, I'm confident this is really, really going to help you out. It's a, it's a sub 116 lap. So certainly nothing to be ashamed of, but you're going to find much hotter laps out there, probably more like 15 flats uh, come the end of the week, depending on the weather conditions, might even be less than that. Who knows? We'll do the usual thing. I'll do the in-car lap. I've inset a chase cam so you can see the position of the car on the track. Uh, and then I'm going to break down every corner and try and try my best to try and get you around that final damn uh, corner here at Long Beach which even on the formation lap can pose a problem. That's where all the action's gonna be this week. If you can make it round there and stay out of trouble, uh, you're gonna be doing something very right. All right, guys, well, look, have fun here. If you find this guide useful, if you like my setup, if the ghost car came in handy while practicing, please do hit like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell so you can catch my next video or catch me on my next live stream uh good luck guys let us know how you get on and if i don't see you before hopefully i will see you out there on the track cheers Okay, guys, here we go with my um, lap here at Long Beach. As I mentioned in the intro, it's by no means the fastest lap you will see. Uh, but it, if you're new to the track, it's really going to help you get up to speed here uh, and work out some of these tricky corners. And it is tricky here. So we're going to keep over to the right. But bear in mind that you cannot be in the pit lane on entry to turn one. If you go too far over... That blue line there you are going to be having a bad day we are going to pause here just as we're about to hit the 400 board as you can see a car length or two ahead there's a white line that stops so i'm braking kind of like you know two or three car lengths before that white line ends just before the 400 board and then we're going to turn in between the two and the 100 board and we're going to keep it pretty tight on the apex here and you can see that i'm bleeding right out of the brakes and we're reasonably tight to this apex but we're already back on the gas at this stage and that's important uh in fact it's important for every corner here it's really slow corners mixed with quite long straight pieces of track so the quicker you can get on the gas coming out of a corner, 
the much better that you, you're going to fare here. Um, try and remember, it's particularly true here, that it is slow in and fast out. You're going to make up more time by maximising acceleration on your exit than you are um, from breaking that little bit earlier. It's going to be worth it. So we've got to keep the car tight over to the right here. And we're going to start braking again just as we we um, meet uh, the, the tightest point on the right hand side in the wall here. And we want to place the car so it's pointed right down the middle of the left wall and what's effectively our kind of, it's not actually our apex, but our inside curve. Tricky, tricky corner this. So we want to brake as straight as we can here. Keep the car as far over to the left as possible. And then start our turn in. And start bleeding out the brakes. Now we have to come out the brakes pretty quickly here. To promote the car to get around this really tight corner. So we're about 10%, 8, 7. We're dropping down and we're tight. We're at full steering at this point And then we're hitting the accelerator pretty steady and straightening up so we can just miss the corner of this wall here and we want the car to exit as far over to the left as we can so this corner is asking a hell of a lot of us um if you can access my ghost car uh download it from the discord same place you got the uh setup assuming you're using that um and you know follow the line it's a tough line here there's very very little room for error so I'm looking for this break here in the fencing on the left. And I'm going to use that as a braking marker. We're not going to brake super heavily, but we need to slow the car down just enough to make this next corner. I took a bit too much curb there. And then we need to dab again here. We, we pop up into third gear for a very brief period. And then we're going to brake just before these speed signs on the wall on the left and we don't want to break too long or too hard here because we need to carry a lot of speed through this corner it's a fairly wide exit and we're going to maximize that so we're going to use these rumble curbs on the right and basically what we're aiming to do is to exit just as this inside wall ends and the outside wall starts so we're going to use every inch of this track here now we need to move it to the right and we're looking for the 300 board on the right uh, similar corner this in that it's a tight corner but it has a nice wide exit and we need to really maximize that so we're going to get on the gas pretty early here but we're going to do it in a really controlled and steady fashion there's some lumps and bumps there's a little bit of off camber. So if we put our foot down on the apex of this corner, once we reach it, uh, we're going to spin the car or at least lose traction and lose some speed. So we're breaking at the 300. We're coming down. We're going to save second gear until we're really getting close to the apex now. We're turning in at the last poster on the right here, the, this last K1 speed poster. And we're going to get really tight to the apex and then we're on the gas now ideally we'd actually be on the gas a little bit earlier than that but look how progressive my accelerator is here bearing in mind it's half speed now immediately over to the left and we need to break between 300 and 200 so we need to get ourselves over to the left and get ourselves straight so that we can break and come in here now we're going to ignore the curbing here and we're going to head straight for the wall and we need to leave this turn in late enough that we can sort of straighten out as much of this corner as we can and get on the accelerator pretty sharpish there we go before we apexed and again a really slow and steady build up of the throttle it's such a bumpy and unforgiving track this that if you get on the gas too heavy too soon uh, you're going to pay for it nice and steady on the build up we're looking to the 400 board now and we're going to bring ourselves down to second gear just 
as we're reaching the inside curve. And then we're already into the throttle just as we're hitting the curb. Again, watch how steady and slow the throttle build up is. And now we're on the accelerator hard and we're out and on the brakes, but we're just on the brakes for a brief period, just enough to bring us tight in here. This is this is what this is the real money set of corners here for this track. This this is where all the accidents are gonna happen. This is where all uh, you know, even on the formation lap, people are going to struggle to get around this corner. Um, so we want to keep it nice and tight to the curbing on the left. We're in the accelerator just for a bit. And then we're not on these rumble strips on the left because it's going to impede our braking. So we just want to be on the inside of the red and white normal curbing. And we need to exit at the very end of this curb. And immediately throw the car round. Now we, what we're going to do here. Is we're going to use our trail braking to the maximum. To get maximum maximum turn in. In the car. Uh, what we need to do is do. Like a, a reasonably heavy medium brake. Towards the end of this curb. And then as soon as we want to turn in. And hit this really really tight hairpin. We want to pull out of the brake. As we're turning in. And the car should shuffle itself round. So that's our medium brake. Now we're pulling out and we're now really, really turning in. We need to get super tight to this apex. We're not on the gas yet, but now we are. And that squirt of gas that I gave it there is going to help push the car around the corner. And here we are on the home straight, heading back down towards the start finish line. So that was my 115.9 here at Long Beach. As I've said a couple of times, there is a lot more speed to be had there. There's probably about another third of a second easily, if not more, for me anyway. Um, you know, other hotter drivers are going to uh, have really, really low 115s here, maybe even flats, depending on the weather. Um, so, good luck here, guys. Don't forget to download my setup and my ghost car. Um, uh, you can find the link for that in the description below. Let us know how you get on. Uh, how, how are your races here? What do you think of Long Beach? Um, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, fingers crossed for some strong results here. And I will be back next week with another IMSA track guide. Cheers, guys. See you later.